today we are going to talk about, we are going to get into it. I'm going to spill all the scoop and give you all the facts on these donut calming anxiety dog beds that you see all over Instagram, all over Facebook, they're all over YouTube. Well, I'm going to break it down for you. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and this is my channel. Welcome to my curls. And I have two dogs. If you've been on my channel before, you know Maxie, who's sleeping right here. He is my white miniature schnauzer. And Pollux, can you come down and participate in the video, please? You're being moody today. Oh, is it because Maxie's in your bed? I think that's it. The movie's in your bed, Pollux. Y'all, can y'all see Maxie? There he is. He's a little white schnauzer and he blends into to the white bed. I have talked about these beds in so many of my videos. I get so many questions about the dog beds. Why do my dogs love them? How do you order them? What size should you get? And honestly, the, the sizing is a little confusing. So that's why I'm doing this video today. So you know I have two dogs but I have three beds. We actually ordered Maxi a new bed and it got here last night. And so I'm gonna explain to you why my dogs love the beds, how the beds work, how to know what size to get for your dog, and I'm gonna tell you why we got Maxi a new bed. So let's get into it. Let's talk about these dog beds. <laughs> Maxi, are you the king of the mountain? <laughs> Anytime I pick up my phone and I get on Instagram or I get on Facebook, I am flooded with sponsored ads for these dog beds. They're called calming beds, anxiety beds, donut beds. Like they're, they're everywhere you look at all different price points. I am a huge believer in these beds, whatever you choose to call them. And I want to tell you why. I did a video, it's probably two years ago now, when we got our very first bed for Maxie. Maxie was our only dog at that point, and he is scared to death of loud sounds and storms, lightning, thunder, or even if it's just raining, just raining. He like, he's scared, he's scared to death. He will shake, he will hide, he will pant. And if there was a loud noise, if there was firecrackers, if like a car backfired or somebody was mowing their lawn and anything, any loud noise, he would just freak out. And so one day, one of these ads popped up on my husband's Instagram feed. And he showed it to me and said, we should get one of these beds for Maxie. And we ordered the bed, Maxie loves the bed. He has slept in that bed every single night since we got it two years ago. The bed has gone on vacation with us. We, we take Maxie to the beach and his bed goes with us. He, I mean, it's just his thing. It is his bed. It is his comfort zone. Well, we, when we adopted Pollux, we also ordered Pollux a bed. That is one of the sweetest videos Pollux had lived his entire life in the animal shelter, and when we adopted him to our home, we ordered him this bed right here, and in that video, I videoed us actually opening the bed when it arrived and him getting in it, and it is so sweet. He is in doggy heaven, y'all. He loves this bed. Pollux, that's your new bed, buddy. Scary. What is it, bud? Pollux. What is it, Pollux? Maxie <laughs> wants to know too. Oh, it's getting bigger. What is it, Pollux? <gasps> Look at that, buddy. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, 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 
stuck in it. You want your belly ring? Aww. Look at him. Oh, Pollux left his bed. Look at that tongue hanging out. <laughs> tongue hanging out. <laughs> he just sniffed it and buried his head and rolled on his back, and he had never had a bed. He had never slept in a bed. In the shelter, he slept on the concrete floor. It just makes me want to cry thinking about that video, but it is so sweet, so you should check that out. But Pollux has been with us for nine months. This is still Pollux's bed, and Maxi loves Pollux's bed, as you can see. Also did another video recently about my dog's bedtime routine, and this leads me to why we got Maxi a new bed. Every night when we would come to bed, Pollux's bed is in the floor and Pollux sleeps on the floor. Maxi would sleep on our bed, and if you want to know the whole routine, watch that video. I'll link it here. But when we would come into the bedroom to go to bed, Maxi would always get in Pollux's bed, just like this and Pollux would get on my bed and look at him. Well, when it was time to get into bed, we would pick Maxi up, as you will see in the video, and put him in his little donut bed. And Maxi, this is Maxi's bed, has a small bed. We would tuck Maxi in, Randy would cover him with his little blanket, and Maxi would sleep in his bed on our bed all night long. But the funny thing is, when we would pick Maxi up out of Pollux's bed, he would grump at us every single night. He did not want to come out of Pollux's bed. And I really think Maxi wanted to just sleep in Pollux's bed. Now that was either because the bed was bigger and he, he liked having the room or because it was Pollux's and he was trying to assert his kind of dominance. <laughs> I don't know. But if the bed's in the floor, Maxi comes in here and lays in Pollux's bed. Hey, Maxer. Can you get in your bed? This is your new bed. It's warm. Mama's had it in the dryer. Can you get in it? Come here. Get in this one. Oh, yeah. Get in that one. Lay down in there, Moo. Mom give you the burrito. Ooh, perfect. Oh, look at this now. You got your burrito. Maxi gets cold at night, don't you, Mooey? You get chilly at night, so you love your burrito. Look how much more room you have. <laughs> he got out of your bed, bollocks. Get in your bed. Get in your bed. Maxi, are you sleeping on your back tonight? Come on, it's bedtime. We're not going to play time right now. Okay. Good night, Mooey. Ooh, your bed is all warm and soft and fresh. Mom loves it. I decided the other day that maybe Maxi might want just a little bit more room in his bed because he did have the small size bed. So when Maxi would get in here, in order for him to sleep in there all night, he would curl up into a little ball. And Maxie's older, he's almost 10 years old, and I just kind of thought Maxie might need just a little bit more room. And that leads me to the number one question that you all send to me about the beds. How do I know what size bed to get for my dog? And honestly, it is confusing. So I am gonna break it down for you now. The beds come in four sizes, small, medium, large, extra large. And I'm gonna show you what the beds look like, but the sizing is from here to here. So this is a small bed, which is 23 inches. So it's 23 to 23. The outer edge is 23 inches. And then you just have this little hole. Well, the beds have a nine inch fluffy, fluffy lip on them but it, the sizing is from edge to edge, not the middle. It's hard to know what bed to get, and it's hard to know what brand to trust. And listen, I'm gonna tell you, there are beds that are coming from some sketchy companies, I guess. <laughs> they're coming from overseas. You just don't know what you're getting. You don't, you don't know if they're gonna show up. You just don't know. I have got all of three of my beds from the same company. I got them on Amazon, and it's a company called Best Friends by Sherry. Her beds 
are fantastic and I'm gonna tell you why. And let me tell you, I am not sponsored by Best Friends by Sherry. This is not an endorsed video. Um, these are just, this is just the brand that I first ordered when I got Maxie's bed, I got Pollux's bed, and then when I ordered his, when I ordered Maxie's other bed the other day, I also got it from Best Friends by Sherry. They have excellent quality. I wash them all the time. They hold up. They do not break down. They do not, the stuffing does not deflate. The, the fluffy stuff doesn't get yucky, and I just trust this brand. Plus, I'm getting it from Amazon, so I know I can send it back if there's a problem. If my dog doesn't like it, I can return it, and I just feel like there's a trust factor there with this company, and so that's why I'm sharing this with you. So, the beds come in two colors. This is the taupe color. It's just like a light beigey, and then Pollux's bed is called Frost. It is a gray. So, you've got four sizes of beds. You have small, which is this, 23 to 23. You have medium, which is a 30 to 30. You have large, which is 36 to 36, which is what Pollux's bed is. And then there is extra large, which is 45 to 45. And here's what's so confusing. When you go on the website to order, you're thinking, okay, well, my dog, like Maxi, is 20 pounds. You can see how big he is. And there's a chart and it says the small beds, it's perfect for the dog up to 25 pounds. And yes, it is. But that dog that is 25 pounds in order to sleep in here is going to be curled up into to a little ball, which is fine. If your dog always sleeps in a little ball, then that is the size for you. So when, when you go on Amazon to order your bed, look at the chart. It shows you the size and what pound dog that that bed is perfect for. The reason I decided to order Maxi the next size up, he was in a small, we ordered him a medium bed, is I just felt like he needed a little bit more room. He doesn't always want to sleep in a ball. Sometimes he wants to stretch out, and that's why I felt like I always found him in Pollux's bed, is he just sometimes need a little bit more room. And so we ordered him a medium. And so here you can see all of the sizes in the floor, small, medium, and large. Here's the difference, medium, small, large. The next thing that is fantastic about these beds is they have a unzippable cover. So you can remove, you can unzip it in two different places. You can remove the stuffing from the inside and you can wash just the cover you wash just the cover. So you can pop it in your washing machine. You, it doesn't take up your whole machine. Some of the other companies do not have removable covers. You have to wash the bed as a whole. And if you're in a medium or large bed, it is not gonna fit in your washing machine. So that is why I love this brand, Best Friends by Sherry. You can unzip it, you take out the stuffing, you wash the fluffy outside, and it's good to go. You pop the stuffing right back in, zip it up, you're good. And so every time I take my dogs to get groomed and Pollux gets a bath, which is every six weeks, I also wash their bedding and they have blankets. I wash their blankets on that day. So they're always fresh and clean. If they get yucky for some reason, if your dog is dirty, just pop it in the wash. So if you order a bed and when your bed arrives, it is going to be vacuum sealed in a plastic bag and this is important, you need to know this. When you pull open that bag, the bed is gonna like whoop, inflate because it was, all the air was sucked out of it in that bag, that's how they ship it. So after you get it out of that bag, kind of shake it to get it all puffed up and run, run your hand all over the stuffing to kind of, or, or, or the fluffy stuff, to kind of fluff it up. And then you're gonna wanna put it in your dryer with the stuffing in it exactly how it is. And I just popped in a bounce dryer sheet with mine. You just pop it in your dryer, put it on the lowest setting for five minutes and just let it tumble and it will fluff, fluff, fluff your bed. So this is Maxie's bed. This one came last night. This is a medium. So you can see the difference and it is so, oh my God. Like, I just want to lay on it with them. It is so soft. It's got, the reason dogs love it is it has this crevice right here and they can burrow in it. When Maxie is really tired, he will actually stick his face down into that crevice and just go to sleep. I mean, he loves this thing. He stays in it all night long and so does Pollux. 
They get in there when it's bedtime and they don't come out of that bed until they know I'm out of bed in the morning and I open that door to go get my coffee. They don't wanna leave their beds, they love them. But they're so soft and fluffy, worth the money. Okay, now that you know how to order the proper size bed for your dog, so I'm gonna stack up the beds, one on top of each other so you can see kind of the difference in the sizing and you can see the difference in the two colors from the taupe to the frost. And I'm gonna see if Maxie's will move and so I can stack them up. I don't know. <laughs> Mooey, Mooey, will you let me stack a bed? Hold on, I'm gonna let you back in it. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Beep. Oh my gosh, down. See? Well, this is what I got. You got Maxi in the middle. You have the small bed on the top. You have the medium bed and you have the large bed. So you can see the difference in size. I think he will stay there all day if I just let him. Please, please, can you get down here so we can see? Which one are you gonna get in? Oh no, can we not play? I just need you into bed. Come here, hey, come here. Just get into bed. Oh, no, you're sitting on Mooey. Oh my gosh. But you can see Pollux. Pollux's bed is a large, and you can see the size of him compared to that large. Pollux, again, is 43 pounds, and he probably would have been just fine in that medium. But I didn't know, um, and of course we, ordered the bed for him when we first got him and I just didn't know what his sleep habit was gonna be, so I got the large, which is fine. He loves it, he has plenty of room, but the medium or the large would have been perfect for Pollux. Pollux does sleep kind of laid out. Oh, see him in there? He does sleep kind of laid out like that, so the large really is probably the best size. See how he has his face burrowed in there? What are you doing? <laughs> Now y'all can see Pollux is in the medium sized bed right now. Mac, the new one we got for Maxie last night. See how he's, his back end is kind of hanging out? I know it says that's the appropriate size for him. Medium beds are good for dogs up to 45 pounds. Well, Pollux weighs 43, but I just, y'all. Yeah. But see, I just feel like he would have to sleep curled up in a ball in order to be comfortable where the large bed just gives him some extra space. So just take that into consideration when you do go to buy a bed for your dog. Just think about how they sleep. God. <laughs> think about how they sleep. Move your booty, Maxie. So see there, move your booty. Can you move your booty? <laughs> move your booty. Moo, can you move your booty? You're over it. Oh, okay. So you can see Pollux right now. This is his bed. This is the size large, and this is how he sleeps. He's a kind of a stretched out sleeper. So you can see that he has plenty of room to do his thing. He is not one that sleeps in a ball. So you saw him earlier in that medium bed. I feel like he maybe would have little, been a little bit uncomfortable and wanted to hang off the end. So the large for Pollux, 43 pounds. He will not give up that donut. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that was informative. If you have a dog that has anxiety issues, doesn't and you know what, honestly, it doesn't even matter if they have anxiety issues. Just get your dog one of these calming vegan fur donut beds. They will love it because they can bury their face in it. They are so soft, they wash well, they honestly are inexpensive. It's not gonna cost you any more than if you go out to any pet store or home goods or TJ Maxx and get a generic dog bed, which I have done that many, many times, but your dogs will absolutely love these Cuddler Donut beds. I mean, I, I cannot say enough good things about these beds. You can see that Maxie and Pollux love them. They go everywhere we go. We're headed to the beach in a couple weeks, in fact, and both of their beds are going with us because that is their sleeping spot. That is their home base. And so when we're sleeping in a, in a new bedroom on vacation, I want something from home.
excuse me, I want something from home for them. I want them to feel comfortable and know that that's their bed, not be confused. So these beds are going on vacation with us. Links to all of the beds, all of the sizes, and the different colors will be in the description box below. The will be <laughs> in the description box below the video, and your dog will thank you so much. I've gotten countless messages from my viewers that they ordered the beds for their dogs and how much their dogs love the beds. So I think your little furry friend will too. Okay, have a great day. We certainly will. We slept so well, didn't we, Mooey? We slept so well. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative and I'll see you later.